Today it's a Tuesday morning and I am heading over, back over close to where I was a few days ago. Um, I have ordered the regulator for my gas bottle from the UK to be delivered to a post office here in France and apparently it's been delivered today. Now it says delivered to letterbox, which is a little bit worrying. <laughs> um, now I've selected this particular post office because I can park right opposite so I needed to find one that was in walking distance of wherever I can park the motorhome. So I'm going to go pick that up, it's about half an hour away and uh, I'm really hoping it's going to do the job otherwise I'm back to square one. I have it. So I've gone into the post office and said you know have you got a parcel for me and they said do you have a number? I'm like no, I've got a name and they said oh no you need a number. So, but as soon as I've said um, post restaurant, they're like, oh, post restaurant, oh oui. And then everyone's scuttling out the back. Sure enough, they come out of my box. So, yay, I have it. And now, I have to see if it works. Okay, so this is the kit. Here's the regulator. So, if we have a look at the difference between, this is the English one. You can see that's the nozzle. French one. Now, they look a bit different, but if we look underneath... They're the same so it should just clip on and then i've got two meters of eight millimeter high pressure gas hose and two jubilee clips okay so now i'm going to have to go and disconnect my uk bottle which i'd put back on temporarily um because i've been you know i've been waiting for this for several days and um and then try and connect it up but that's still only the first hurdle I have to be able to connect it safely make sure there's no gas leaks and I also have to see if the ele if the fridge will actually run on gas so this is um, this is my fridge it's a three-way fridge over here this allows you to select um, the green button is for mains the red one which I have switched on at the moment I can switch it off now is a 12 volt which is used when driving and this side is gas but I've never tested this I've never actually tried to run it on gas um, so I guess I'll find out so it should just boom clips on and then this is the on off valve which obviously I'm going to leave off for now so the next part then is to connect now see you can now see quite clearly that, that nozzle is the same as the nozzle here and the hose I have is the same as that one except it's newer so hopefully it should be fairly straightforward now so I'll go and cut the hose to size and get connecting all right I'm connected up both ends I'm just taking this out on the stool just to make it easier to to access the clips so here's this end and the other end. Now I've just pulled the connection out a little bit just to make it easier to access the clip. So what I need to do now is to turn on the valve, open it, see if there's any leaks and then check inside the van to see if the gas is flowing through correctly. I have gas! Yay! Still not done. So the gas is coming through. I now need to check as I'm at... Ooh. <laughs> now because I've got a window open um, I now need to just double check how to do this I've got the manual for it somewhere and then see if the fridge works basically didn't work I'm not really sure what's wrong here but basically I turned this around so that the flame is on there and then press this which is like a starter thing you know it clicks when you press it but apparently once it's when it's connected it's supposed to light up and it doesn't so I've got no way of knowing if it's actually working now I don't know if, if it might just be so old that you can't see a light in there but obviously I'm not going to take that risk so I think now at this point I've really got no choice but to try and find somewhere I can take this thing and go and get it checked professionally because I've, I've gone as far as I can myself and you know this is gas I'm not going to take any risks obviously so I, at the moment I'm fridgeless 
which is not ideal in this hot weather. 